So I might be making a really bad choice, but you know what? It's okay because YOLO. Okay, so today I decided to bleach my hair. I got myself, I ordered some 20% volume developer and then I got my bleach powder. Both of these are Vitality. I couldn't get any Schwarz Golf Blonde, which is the best bleach powder, but you know what? I'll make do with this. So my plan tonight is to get to a skunk stripe, maybe an underlayer, but I'm going to do a skunk stripe first, see how that goes. My hair is really long. It's like, it's, it's actually like really long. It's like past my nipple, which is kind of hard because I've tried to Google like other men doing this, but the thing is all of them have shorter hair. Uh, not many of them have longer hair like me. So I was looking at the woman's hair bleaching tutorials on skunk stripes. So, um, what was I gonna say? So what's up? Do I have twenty percent volume developer. I have the bleach powder. I also got myself like a blonde, uh, a very light platinum blonde permanent color that you mix with twenty percent volume developer. So it does lift and deposit pigment. And then I have blue shampoo and purple shampoo. This is for if I have yellow hair that needs to be toned down, and this is for if I have orange brassy hair that needs to be toned down. And then my conditioner is my curl coconut curl conditioning. Um, thing. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of nervous but excited. Ah, so my hair right now, I used to have blonde hair and it was like really long, but that was two years ago and since then I've colored it black and I've let it regrow. So right now my hair, all this is virgin hair and then this part here is the remnant of that previously bleached hair that is now black. There's a few layers of colors in here that's like blue, green, purple. They all faded out, but then I put red and then I put black here. So this section might be quite hard to take it out of. I'm hoping that I can get to quite a, like a level eight or level nine tonight. I'm expecting to do maybe two or three processes. If by the second process I'm like a level eight, I think I'll go straight into the, into this permanent blue, permanent blonde color. But yeah, my god, it's been a long time since I last bleached hair on myself. I've bleached so many other people's hair. I've done hair colors, I've done hair cuts, but I've not done it myself. So this is the bleach powder. Oh my god. Oh, I miss it, the smell. Okay, we shall start. First, I'm going to go change into clothes that I don't want, and I'm also going to partition the section of hair that I want to bleach. But yeah, oh my god, it's beginning! Also, I do have to say the reason why I'm doing it at home is because I can't actually go to salon because in New Zealand like COVID restrictions are really bad like you can't do any in-person consultations that's why I'm doing this at home. Also to all the people that I promised I would let them bleach my hair, I'm so sorry but I just couldn't wait. I just graduated my bachelor's degree and I want to give myself something to do, a little prize. And then you know what? After two years of not bleaching my hair, I decided bleaching my hair would be my present. I'm not gonna buy a car, a house like other people, I'm just gonna bleach my hair and have fun. But yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, so I just did a pat, a little strand test. So what I did was I took a lock of my hair and then I saturated it in the bleach and I put in this aluminum kind of, uh, foil. And now I'm just going to let it process for 30 minutes. I'm just gonna see how, how much it develops. If anything happens, like it starts sizzling, you know? I'm just gonna put it, I'm just gonna put my hand on it or like be near the computer so there's some sort of heat to help stimulate the bleach. But yeah, we shall see how it goes. By the way, because it's metal, I'm actually, I'm actually putting it on my thigh because <laughs> to, to reflect, to uh, um, simulate the heat that my body would give off on my root scalp because I just want to see how light it does get. Also, I have curly hair, so I have to be very careful. Right now, I'm watching Hair Buddha. And I will try hair Buddha is like one of my favorite hair YouTubers. Hair Buddha and Brad Mondo, these two, watch I learn a lot. If they are very careful, they will be there like... It's finished, time to check up on it. Looking blonde. It's like a brassy blonde color right now. It's very yellow. Okay, so I just finished the first processing. And if you look very closely, it is like, um, it's a very brassy orange color. So this was after 30 minutes, so I'm assuming this is what the color of my hair will be if I bleach it for 30 minutes or 20%. In terms of integrity of the hair, 
it does not snap yet if I pull it, but it is stretchy. This is a very orange color. I can tell it's very orange, so definitely need two rounds of bleach. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start on my hair now so I can get the first round done. Okay, so it is time. Now that the test trend has gone well, it's time to start bleaching. So I've decided to section off this chunk of hair for the skunk stripe. It's about, I can't tell if this is too thick or not, but it's about this thick for the skunk stripe. I think that's fine. Okay, I already sectioned off the back of my head, so I'm just gonna test this actually. So I have some petroleum gel. I'm gonna apply this on the perimeter so that it doesn't, I don't bleach that section. The hair that I don't want to get bleach. Also applying it on my forehead so I don't bleach my forehead. Oh, whoops, I got it on the I got it on the baby hairs. It's too big. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this with this. I'm gonna do one part this and um, two parts developer. I just rather use too much bleach than not enough bleach. Okay, so one part bleach powder. Okay, mixing bowl, one part bleach. Now two parts 20 volume developer. Oh, it's a bit too thick, I'm gonna make it more creamy. Oh my god, I'm gonna take a smaller section. Yep, that's still enough. It's gonna go thinner, but I'm not. So I'm gonna apply one inch from the. I'm just gonna start from the middle. I'll come back when I finish this. This is not easy. Okay, I just finished the back section that took me about. So I finished it once. I'm leaving for 30 minutes at 1 30. I'm gonna do the back sections and wash it out. Now I'm gonna start on the front, right here. I'm just trying to paint on the bleach as much as possible. It's blending to the top. Okay, there we go. Okay, just finished applying it to the front half. Now the back part has been processing for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go apply the bleach to the root now, and then I will continue with the front. Okay, I just applied it to the root of the back. I'm having a problem now with um, um, it bleeding into other sections. It's just really annoying me. Because I want it to be a clean line, but it's okay. So I just make the best of what I can. Should be fine. Then after another 10 more minutes, I'll apply it to the these front sections. Okay, I've applied root. I've applied everything root to tip. I'm going to now put plastic wrap. It's actually really hard to get the lines clean. Like I'm overlapping quite a bit. So I'm just going to try my best to avoid damaging hair that does not need to be damaged. Oh my gosh, this is not easy. Fuck, I just applied it on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna move it. I'm 
Okay, so now I started at once. So the back has been in here for 30 minutes and the front has been in for 20-ish minutes. The top has just been finished putting in like 10 minutes ago. So I'm gonna let it sit for another 10, 15 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it off. Yep, that sounds good. I'm gonna take a hair dryer so to make it hot here just to even out of everything. Okay, so virgin hair. Okay, so I've just finished. So the back has been in it for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna take it out and then wash that first. And I'll do the front after a while. But that's how much it's lifted so far. Okay, now looking at it closely, it looks like the ends still have color in it, I'm not surprised. But the mids are nice. Oh, is it breaking off? No, it's not, it's fine. Okay, that's good. Unfortunately, it tinted the underside. But it's okay, I'm just going to say that's part of the bleach. I am perfect. Okay, I just finished washing off, so this is the result of the first section. I can see it is light and then the ends get like pretty dark. It's almost black, actually. Is that black? Well, it's a lighter brown, and I think that I so I kind of miscalculated how much Rico if I had, so that actually this much was the box black color. It's actually quite a lot, but it's okay expected that. The only sad part I have was the hot wood situation here. So my plan is after I finish this, I'm just going to color this black, color this black again and avoid this part so that the line is very sharp because I want it crisp. But yeah, I'm gonna let this dry now. Okay, I think what I should have done was um, use different developers for each side. I feel like if I knew that there was this much regrowth, I was, if I was to do this again, this whole section would get 20 volume, this section would get 30 volume, and this would be 20 volume, the roots would be 20 volume right at the end, like the last 15-10 minutes. Also in terms in terms of how it feels, it still feels it feels a little dry, but it's actually not too bad. I pulled it a bit, it's not stringy or like it doesn't stretch. It still holds an integrity pretty well, which is good because my hair is really healthy before bleaching. Okay, I don't want to get hot roots on here anymore, so I'm going to put this aluminum foil. Okay, now I shall leave it in for 30 minutes, a bit, and then I'll remove it. Okay, it, my, my scalp burns like a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's just cause I'm bleaching twice in one day, my scalp hurts. I'm gonna let it process for 25 minutes. I'm gonna go sit next to a heater just so that it helps fasten the lighting, put the lightening process, and yeah, I'll be back in 25 minutes. I'm literally watching Guy Tang while I do this, and I look like, I hope I didn't get bleach on the other parts of my hair, hopefully not. Okay, now for the moment of truth, this is the end of second processing, it's been 30-ish minutes, I am going to take it out. I'm scammed. Oh, okay, I still see some brassiness at the tips. But not bad. I shall wash it out now. Use purple shampoo at the top and blue at the bottom. So this is what my hair looks like the next day.
Um, I went to sleep last night. I just did two rounds of bleaching processing. Left in the blue and purple shampoo for real for a little bit. And then I went to sleep. Also left the conditioner in my hair. Like a leave-in conditioner and the hair oil just to get some moisture back in the other hairs. But yeah, it's not too bad. It's going good. However, I also noticed, like I woke up this morning, there was a little bit of like dried pus. So I think I got some burns here. The bleach is really strong and the hair is really fine there, so it's not that great. Um, so my plan is I'm not going to touch the roots at all. Like don't touch the roots because it's, it's really, it has a burn. It's like, because the skin's trying to heal itself. So I'm not going to color that part. I'm going to just apply it from here downwards because it's anyway lighter and it's to the darker top. I'm going to apply some ointment here. And I'm also going to be careful not to apply any bleach on near my root because I don't want to hurt my scalp. Because you gotta take care of my head. It's very my plan for today is I'm going to do a third processing with 20 volume again, just on the like, like from here, like from here downwards, just to get it lighter. The ends have more pigment in them. I think this is the remnant of the box line also because the heat wasn't as strong there. So I'm gonna apply one more session here, really focus on this part downwards to get it lighter. And then I ordered some toner. Um, I couldn't find any Ion Brilliance. There's only Wella Toner in New Zealand, so I'm gonna have to settle for that. Um, I might get T14, maybe T18, if my hair actually lives like really yellow, yellow, like pre lights and yellow, because that's why you should use T18 on, not on this hair, but like really light hair. I'm gonna try my best there, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. One more round. Also, I've been, every time I bleach my hair, I did this on this test strand to see. So before I put anything on my hair, I will see what happens to this clump of hair. If it starts melting, then I know that I will not do it on my head. So I'm just using some betadine iodine ointment just to disinfect the top and to heal it. I just put it on the parts where I noticed the, I don't know what to call them, but like the burns, I guess, or like where the skin is hurt. Now the reason why this happens is because when you bleach your scalp, you're very aggressive in peeling off the top layer of your scalp skin. That's why they say have your hair as oily as possible prior just to protect it. But unfortunately it did cause some little marks like that hurt. I mean it doesn't hurt, but like I noticed that that's bad for the skin. So yeah, just put some ointment. So be careful guys when you bleach. If you ever notice, it hurts a lot like burning this is the bleach i'm gonna apply it to the mids and ends more because they need it more just finished applying it I put it in two big I, I mean I sectioned everything applied it thick and then I put it in two big sections so I just have to use two foil bags because it's not that intense lifting today and uh, now 7 40 so around 8 I will take it out I also just randomly like put, pulled up some streaks here just uh, whatever it lightens to blends a bit more take the wipe this up and make sure that there's no bleach on the part that I don't want to get bleached. The only bad thing about doing bows is I can't see the hair. Like I wish that was transparent for it so I can just see how the hair is doing. I just want to keep the heat in. Now I ordered a toner but it's gonna arrive in like a week. So in the meantime I'm not sure what to do. I do have the blonde, like ultra light blonde permanent color, which has been mixed with tin volume developer. However, depending on how light this lives, I don't think I'm gonna lift anymore. So I'm gonna, or like lift very little. I might take my 20 volume, cause that's all I have. And then try to dampen it to 10 volume. Conditioner, maybe. Okay, so it's eight o'clock. What time did I say I was gonna catch it? That was eight, anyways, it's been 
30 minutes. I need to check his clothes anyway. Let's hope the hair's okay. What color is that? What color is that? Wait, let me take off the ends. I see, see what the ends are. Okay, I was supposed to wash off the bleach like well, 10 minutes ago, but I'm just leaving it in because the ends are not light enough for me. Like, I just want it a bit lighter, but I know I'm ruining the hair. <sighs> John, it's better to have to do one more go than for hair to dry off right now. Okay, I'll wash it now. Okay, it has been in my hair for an hour. I'm not expecting any major change. However, I just... <sighs> I don't know why I left it in for an hour, but I just left it in for an hour. Yeah, let's just see what the hair looks like. Okay, so I just finished doing that whole purple shampoo thing. This is a filter, but I wish my hair was this pearl blonde color. Like, it's almost white. But we shall see. The hair in real life is, is more that pale yellow. The ends are more like a golden yellow, so I'm gonna have to bleach it one more time. Okay, it's the morning after to go somewhere but this is the hair I just put it up in the bun i like it because it just adds a little stripe something cool but yeah i'll show you guys the full hair later the hair whoa oh my god that's so cool I'm out in public. That's what my hair looks like. It's it's actually pretty cool. There are some brassy parts, like there's a section that's a still a bit orange. I'm gonna bleach that, just that section. The rest of it is pale yellow enough for me. And then after I bleach that out so it's even, I will go and apply the permanent color. So it's a nice uniform blonde. I'm now in the mall. I have to go get more developer because I ran out. Going to the chemist. Okay, we're back. This is the third day I just came back from work. So, this is what the hair looks like right now. I do like the top, but the bottom is still a bit orange. So, I just want to get it a bit lighter at the ends to match the top. So, what I'm going to do is a bleach wash. So, just the 20 volume bleach powder and some shampoo and I'm gonna apply it on wet hair just so that I, can, so that I don't kill it too much because I don't want to lift too much I just want to lift a bit okay I shall start so as per usual as you guys have seen I'm going to Vaseline the parts I don't want to bleach and then apply the cling wrap Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dampen my hair so that when I apply the bleach, it's um, the bleach isn't as strong because I don't want the full effect. That is my brother. Okay, I've dampened my hair. I'm gonna put some gloves on. So now it's this is just a, I'm not doing a bleach bath anymore. I'm just gonna do a normal bleaching session. But I'm gonna apply it on damp hair. Gloves on. Normal two to one ratio of bleach, and we shall start. This is what it's like. I do like it a bit creamier just because it's good. Also for this session, I'm not going to do foils because I don't need... I just need to bleach a bit. I'm not trying to kill my hair. Okay, I finished applying the bleach. I'm just gonna put it in some cling wrap. Fire alarm going off in my house. 
chaos VR. This is chaos. Looks very yellow. I think that's enough. Okay, let's take this off now. What time is it? Okay, it is 45. Okay, time to check on the hair. Got legs examined. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Ooh, the ends are hot. Ooh, it was very hot. Okay, is that, is that yellow? Let's compare. Ooh, it's not the same yellow. Okay, I've washed it out. It's still a bit brassy right at the end, I think. That's the fourth bleach, and I'm not gonna bleach it any further. So now I'm just gonna do a test strip of the permanent hair color to see what happens to this hair. And if it goes nice, I will then apply on the rest of my head. Okay, so I'm gonna apply the color. So this is Vitality Ash Ultra Lightening 1001. So it says to mix in a ratio of one to three, but since I'm doing a tiny patch test, I'm just going to mix with, like I'm gonna eyeball the amount. I just wanna see what it does to this hair. And then if I like it, I'll do it on the whole head. I'm just gonna apply it in this thing wrap. I'm just gonna apply the rest of the pigment. Okay, it's been like 50 minutes, I'm gonna wash it out. I just wanna see what happened to this hair. It doesn't look great. Okay, exactly. Can I have a look at my hair? It's like yellow and then this part is still really orange. I could bleach it again, I think. Or I can just put the color straight on. I'm leaning towards the putting the color straight on. Okay, I'm not gonna use the gray one. I'm just gonna use the normal, really light platinum ash blonde permanent hair color. It has two levels, so I'll lift it. So I'm gonna split this down to three sections. Okay, so apparently, okay, so apparently, I'm gonna start coloring. So apparently, this permanent color, which is Vitality Color 101. Is mixing a 1 to 1.5 ratio. So I'm just gonna use this to measure. And then whatever I use of this, I'll add one and a half of developer. About 1 to 5. Okay, not bad. I can I can figure that out. Okay, I'm gonna start applying. It is quite a thick paste. Hopefully it lifts some of this orange out, but if it doesn't. It's okay. I tried my best. Okay, now to apply to the roots. Just gonna section it off a bit. Just make sure I got it in there. Oil? Ah, I just put it up oil. Strap it on. Okay, I'm reading the instruction, so it says um, total of 15 plus 20, 35 minutes. We shall see what color I end up in 35 minutes. Okay, anyways, while we wait, so the last few days I've been looking up what my skin tone was like. I'm pretty sure I'm warm tone because Apparently the way to check is if you check your veins, so if it's blue or green or olive, it determines your color warm tone, and then next thing is to put up a piece of white paper. But the thing is when I held it up to my veins, it said 
warm tone, but when I held up a white piece of paper to my face, it had pink blushes, which meant cool tone. And then naturally, during the daytime, I wear green eyes. So I'm just gonna assume I'm neutral tone. So that means I can wear anything, like maybe neutral warm tone. Yeah, I think that's my skin tone. So maybe this color will be all right. Also, I put my hair in, since I'm coloring it, I put it in foils because apparently according to Google, it's an oxidative treatment, so you use foils, so it's in foils. Okay, I've still got another 10 minutes left, but looking at the hair, very nice. The top is definitely whiting out. The inside has this like, it's like, it's like a weird color in there. It's like, oh, I see dark, but light. Oh, I'll just wait, I'll surprise myself. Maybe I should just wear silver hair. I'm just looking at the colors. Oh, that's so good. That's such a nice color. A professional could have done it much better. Just saying. Oh, don't get on the... Okay, I'm just make sure it doesn't get on my head. Okay, I think it's time. It's done. It's been 35 minutes. I don't want to process it for longer than it has to. Okay. Hair check, nothing breaking off. Thank goodness. And it looks neutralized. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna go wash it out now. It says to wash it out with a shampoo to seal in the cuticle. I'm just gonna use purple. Oh, I think purple shampoo. I don't know. Maybe just a normal shampoo for now. I'll do purple shampoo another day. Yeah, I'll just wash out a normal shampoo and then condition it and then just let it air dry. Okay, see you guys. It's probably tomorrow when it dries. Okay, I just finished. This is moisturizer. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm finally done. I can put away all the bleaching stuff in the toilet and the bathroom. My hair looks good to this ash blonde color, which is nice. It's a bit more even. Tomorrow I'll show you guys when it's dry. But yeah, maybe a month from now I might add some baby lights. To set some dimension so it's not just one tone, but yeah, I'm finished. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so done with bleaching my hair now. See you guys. I know this is probably too early to tell, but I don't know. Maybe I should do something on the other side. Symmetry. Nah, nah, don't, don't stop. Also, if you guys are wondering what I do after a shower, is I'll take my head, put it in the towel, and I'll just plop it. And then I'll just press the towel on the scalp because that's what I want to dry fast. I don't mind if the ends are a bit wet, but I just want my scalp to be dry. And I'll just pull up the rest of my head. There we go. Ooh, yo, look at that. <laughs> okay, anyways, tomorrow morning. Now that's done. Okay, so I shall let it air dry. It's finished drying. Um, I know I do notice the curl patterns a bit looser on the bond streaks, but it's okay. I'll just put lots of curls loose, and it will be fine. This is gonna be very early two thousands Christina Aguilera performance vibes. I'm happy if how it turned out. Now, now I'll show you guys the damage. This is the work workstation. Um, I was taping you guys to the mirror to look at myself. The shower is a mess. This is all dirty. Time to clean up. Damn. Okay. It's everywhere. It's even there. Hello. So it's been two days since. Oh my gosh, it's really cool. I have a little messy, but it's been two days since I dyed my hair. I like it when I put it up in a bun because it like gives it like that little stripe at the side like that it's like a little oh that's so cool oh my gosh please don't drop but yeah that's pretty cool I'm gonna tone it a bit 
more over the next few days of the purple shampoo. Why aren't you staying up? Oh my god, I hate my camera setup. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna fix that up soon, but that's the finished look. I'm happy my curls are still there. There's a bit of orange at the back, but I'll just touch it up in a month when I have to do my roots. That's so cool. Now I will say that this took three, four days because I split up over a few days. I like the effect. I like that it's not like super orange. It's still ashy enough. However, I will say that was it worth all the hassle? Maybe not. I would I would go to a salon next time, but for at home, not too bad. I mean, I'd go to a salon if I did my whole head, but, but just because this was a small section, I did it by myself. Let's try. This is giving me very Christina Aguilera, like early 2000s. <laughs> I think I'll try a hairstyle like this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and watching me transform my hair from this black curly hair to my ash blonde still curly hair. I'm really happy with the results. I'm just really happy that my hair is still alive. But yeah, drop your comments down below if you need any help or any questions about how I did this or if you just want to roast my technique. That's all good as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.